轻负不死，路难为已，中共不灭，灾难不止。Hundred Crimes of the Chinese Communist Party in Hundred Years. The Chinese Communist Party has been a disaster to China and the world for a hundred years. Here are the 100 crimes of the Chinese Communist Party committed at this time of the Chinese Communist Party's 100th year anniversary. This work is a brief summary of all the crimes. The Chinese Communist Party's crime is beyond counting. Listed here is just one in millions. We can only hope that the Chinese Communist Party goes to hell. And leave the world in a clear and decent situation. Crime number seventy-seven: Urban Management System. In December nineteen eighty-two, the CCP introduced the City Control System, a system of administrative punishment outside the law, with no standards for enforcement and punishment. It is often abused, and violent enforcement is frequent. It caused the underclass to harm each other, and it was a major source of social conflict in the city. Crime number seventy-eight: Severe crackdown on lawlessness. In September nineteen eighty-three, the CCP implemented a severe crackdown on criminal activities that lasted for three years and five months. A total of one point seventy-seven million people were arrested and one point seventy-five million sentenced, including twenty-four thousand executions. The CCP generally did not follow normal judicial procedures and imposed excessive sentences. Final review of death penalty cases was delegated to provincial courts, resulting in indiscriminate arrests and killings. Crime number seventy-nine: Martial law in Lhasa. On March fifth, nineteen eighty-nine, Tibetan demonstrations took place in Lhasa, Tibet. On March seventh, violence broke out, and Chinese Premier Li Peng declared martial law in Lhasa. The CCP deployed armed police and military forces to suppress the demonstration. Hu Jintao, secretary of the Tibetan Party Committee and later general secretary of the Chinese Communist Party, appeared in the streets of Lhasa. The incident resulted in the deaths of 387 residents and 82 monks in Lhasa. Crime number eighty: June Fourth Massacre. On June Fourth, nineteen eighty-nine, Deng Xiaoping ordered the Chinese Communist Party to deploy troops to suppress students and civilians demanding democracy in Tiananmen Square. Officials claimed two hundred civilians and dozens of security personnel died. Overseas estimates put the death toll, including protesting students, at more than ten thousand. Since then, the CCP has secretly arresting students and people from all walks of life who participated in the June Fourth protests, and the numbers of arrests and deaths is unknown. 共产党，你完球蛋了！